I have a confession to make. And it's something I've never talked about before, but I'm obsessed with Pixar. And when I say obsessed, I mean really obsessed. I had grown up with Disney movies, like every other white American middle class race child was. But there was something that entranced me about the Pixar films. I was nine years old and in my third grade class my teacher was asking all of us what we wanted to be when we grew up. All of the other girls wanted to be teachers or ballerinas. And I was at that age when I realized that princess just wasn't a realistic career choice for me. Now this was around the time Monsters Inc. came out, which is actually one of my favorite Pixar movies. And when Mrs. Jean, my third grade teacher, asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I said that I wanted to be an animator and that I wanted to work at Pixar Animation Studios. And it's been that way ever since. I learned everything I could about animation, and I have several books filled with drawings of Pixar-related things. My AIM screen name in middle school was Pixar Dreamer 343. So yes, I had the reputation of being a Pixar fangirl. Their films just have a way of bringing everything together. They found a way to create the, dare I say it, perfect family film. They have investing in meaningful stories, with entertaining and lovable characters that have actual depth, and have found a way to make a movie that's appealing to both adults and children. This is probably the reason each Pixar film has stuck with me for so long. And it's not just the movies I love. I love everything about Pixar. I've been fortunate enough to visit the studio three times before, and you've never seen a place that's so passionate about the films they make. They focus on the actual content of the film, as opposed to how much profit it'll make. Also, everyone rides scooters around the building, and who wouldn't want to work at a place where the main form of transportation is scooter? It's hard to explain exactly why I want to work at Pixar over other animation studios, but every time I listen to the ending theme from Finding Nemo, it goes a little bit like this. And I want to make movies that make you feel like that.